Hi, Assalamualaikum. This is an explanation of Johnson algorithm where Johnson algorithm is used to deal with negative value. So as you can see, uh, some of the H uh, will have a negative value. So if there is a negative value, so it's quite difficult for us to find the MST. So we need to transform the negative value to become positive. So uh, one of the way is by using Johnson algorithm. So uh, a given uh, here is uh, one graph, okay, which has one negative value from zero to one. Okay, and then we have four nodes here with uh, several of edges. This is an, uh, a directive graph. Okay, so as you can see here, so our aim is to make the negative value, which is negative 5, to become positive. So we can use Johnson algorithm. So let's start with step number 1. So after you get this kind of graph, so we need to add uh, another one node that you can name it to any, any number or uh, alphabet. So in this case, it is represented as S. And after you add a new node to the graph, you need to add the edges okay, from the new node to all the existing nodes. In this case, we need to add a new node named S and then the edges from S to other existing node, which are from S to 0, S to 1, S to 2 and S to 3. So we need to give the value to the edges uh, from S to all vertices of original graph. So after we add a new node, in this example, we name it as number 4. And then you give the edge to, uh, to all vertices, uh, in this case from 4 to 0, from 4 to 1, from 4 to 2, and from 4 to Three. So all the new edges okay, from the new node 4, you need to give the value. So in this case, you give the value to 0. Okay? From 4 to 1 is 0. 4 to 0 is 0. 4 to 3 is 0. 4 to 2 is 0. So after that, uh, we need to do some uh, calculation whereby uh, we need to remove the negative value and then to transform it to become positive. So how to make it? We need to use a formula. Okay, so uh, to use the formula before that, we need to find the shortest distance from H to U. So in this case, our H, okay, the, our new node or S just now in the theory, so we represent it as H, okay, to U. So to U means from H to which node. So U is uh, represent as the destination from H. So in this case, we have four existing nodes. So we need to find the shortest path or weight from H, which is four to other four nodes. So like shown here, so we have node 4 to 0, 4 to 1, 4 to 2, and 4 to 3. So from 4 to the destination 0, 1, 2, 3, so we need to find the shortest distance. So you need to calculate the shortest distance. Okay. So if there is more than one distance from 4 to 0, so you need to find the shortest path. Okay. So let's look how we calculate the weightage. Okay for each uh, distance from H to U. Okay, so let's look at number one. So we find the weightage from four to zero first. So from four to zero in this example or in this graph, we only have one option or one uh, path. And by only this direction. So we have no choice. So, or no other alternative. So, we just put it as D0. Okay, now we move on to the 
path number 2 whereby from 4 to 1. So from 4 to 1, what is node 1? Here. So from 4 to 1, we have how many paths here? Okay, here. From 4 to 1, we have a direct distance, which is 0. And another one, we have from 4 to 0 and 0 to 1. So also can uh, use as another alternative from 4 to 1. So the second alternative, the weightage is 0 plus negative 5. So 0 plus negative 5 is equals to negative 5. So you therefore we have two distances from 4 to 1. So please choose the shortest path between uh, the value 0 or negative 5. So when we compare uh, 0 and negative 5, of course negative 5 is the, uh, the, the lowest or the shortest from the zero. So please choose negative five as the weightage for that distance for two, node one. Okay, then we have another distance from node four to node number three. So in this graph, from node four to node three, there is only one distance, which is Z. So, so we have no other alternative to go from node 4 to node 3, we just choose or give the weightage as Z0. Okay, how about the last one, which is from node 4 to node number 2. So, uh, as we analyze from the graph, there is only how many paths? Okay, this is one path. Or you can go from node 4 to node 0 and then go to node number 2. So we get 0 plus 2, which is 2. So we have uh, another alternative whereby from node 4 to node 1, node 1 to node 2. So 0 plus 4. The weightage is 4. Okay. And then from that alternative or path, we can conclude that negative 1 okay so we have uh, the shortest or the, uh, the lowest okay the lowest value okay the smallest value it is 0 from not 0 okay from not 0 so for, sorry from not 4 to not 0 0 to 1 1 to 2 which is 0 plus negative 5 plus 4. Then the answer is negative 1. So negative 1 is the shortest distance from node 4 to node number 2. So uh, to conclude that, uh, to find the shortest path, you need to consider all the available paths in the graph. So uh, please um, write down. Okay, It's easier for you to write down all the shortest path. Uh, from the H node, which is in this case is 4 to uh, the existing node, which are 0, 1, 3, and 2. So the answer is 0, negative 5, 0, and also negative 1. Now we move on to the step number 3. Okay, so after we found the, uh, the shortest path for each destination or distance, so the next part, we need to remove the vertex 4, where the 4 is the, 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 the transitive node or the newest node that we add purposely to remove or transform the negative number. So removing the vertex 4, so we need to do some alteration, which is we need to reweight the edges. So how to reweight the edges? Uh, first of all, we need to consider the, the shortest path that we get from the previous step 2. Okay, so to reweight the edges, you need to use this formula. So W is represent the weight. So the weight from node U to V equals to um, weight, the current weight of no, uh, from node U to V plus with 
the value uh, from the previous step two, okay, from the source node which is u to the destination node which is hv. So hu and hv actually is taken from the previous uh, distance that we get from the step number two. So uh, this is how we do it. So let's look at the the first one. So let's say from node 0 to node 1. So the existing weightage is negative 5. Okay, so negative 5, which is represented as W, U, V. So negative 5 plus H, U. H, U here is Z, 0. Where, where we got this 0? So we need to look at the previous one, which is from node 0 to node 1. Okay, so from node 0 to node 1 means okay, we need to find this from node 0, H0, okay, HU is 4, HV is Z, rho. so the value is Z, rho. so that's why the value of HU is 0, and minus with negative 5. So negative 5 means HV. Okay. HV is negative 5. Okay. So 1, right? So from node 4 to 1 is negative 5. So include the negative 5 here. So negative 5, which is this one, the existing weightage plus zero where we got this zero need to refer to this value okay four to zero is equal to zero minus with hv hv is from node four to node one okay the value is negative one so when we do this calculation negative five plus zero minus negative five which is we can we got Value is Z, row negative 5 plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, now we move on to the next one. Okay, let's say we take this one from node 0 to node 3. So the existing one, which is our WUV, is 3. Okay, then plus with HV, right? So HV is from node Four to node zero, not four to node zero, not four to node zero is equal to zero. So take that value three plus zero and then minus with HV. So HV is from node four to node number three. So refer to the step number two from four to node number three is equal to zero. So we take that value. So then we got 3 plus 0 minus 0, then the value is 3. So again, we calculate for the node 1 to node 2. The existing value W is 4 plus with HU. So HU here is node 4 to node 1 is negative 5. Okay, node 4 to node 1 is negative 5. Take this value negative 5 minus with negative 1. So negative 1 is actually from node 4 to node number 2. Node 4 to node number 2 is negative 1. So we take that value then we do the calculation. 4 minus 5 plus 1 is equals to Z 0. Then you do for the rest. Okay, 0 to 2. Okay, 2 is the existing. From node 4 to node 0 is 0. From node 4 to node 2 is negative 1. And then we do the calculation, we got 3. Then the last one. Okay. The existing value from 2 to 3 is 1. Plus with negative 1. Negative 1 means from node 4 to node 2 is negative 1. Okay. Minus with from node 4 to node 3 is Z, 0. So 1 minus 1. Minus 0 is equal to 
zero. So all new weight have become positive. As you can see, okay, the value that I have underlined is the new weight for all the instances. Okay, so three zero three zero and zero. So there is no more negative value. Okay, from especially from zero to one. So after you obtain the positive value for all distances, so you can proceed to find the minimum spanning tree by using the Jaxra algorithm. Okay, so that's all for me.